Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? Now that verse has really uh, caused paroxysms for many people. Abraham justified by works. Let's take it carefully and I want you to understand what James is saying. The first great classic ancient illustration of saving faith with specifics was Abraham. Was not Abraham then our father? Now here's the key word, justified by works. Stop at that point. Now immediately everything in us that's evangelical goes, hold it right there. Justified by works? What does it mean to be justified? It means to be considered right with God. You mean to say Abraham was considered to be right with God by works? Someone blows the whistle and says, foul. This cannot be possible. And invariably where they take us is to Romans 4. So let's go there. Romans chapter 4. Now I want you to follow very carefully as I just hit some key highlights here. In Romans chapter 4, the discussion is about Abraham. Paul starts out like this. What shall we say then that Abraham our father, uses the same phrase, as pertaining to the flesh has found? If Abraham were justified by works, he had something of which to glory, but not before God. Now wait a minute. James says Abraham was justified by works. Paul says if Abraham were justified by works, he would have something to glory of, but not before God. What does the scripture say? Verse 3, Abraham believed God and it was counted to him for righteousness. Now to him that works is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. In other words, if he earned it, it wouldn't be grace. It would be something God owed him. To him that works not, but believes on him that justifies the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. You say, well, then what does James mean? When it says here in James, was not Abraham our father justified by works? Listen to this. Abraham was justified by faith before God, but he was justified by works before men. You see the difference? That's the whole point James is making. Works are the only way his faith can be seen and verified as real saving faith by himself or any other man. The only way I can know I'm genuinely redeemed is to see the pattern of my godliness, the evidence. The only way you can know it is to see my life. And it is this justification before men that James has in mind. Paul was emphasizing justification before God. James is emphasizing the vindication of a man's claim to salvation before others. By the way, just to support that perspective, the aorist indicative verb was justified has two general meanings and I did a study of this because I was curious about it when it says in verse 21 he was justified by works the word justified has two general meanings number one it means to acquit or to treat as righteous number two it means to vindicate to show or to demonstrate as righteous how interesting Definition number one is what Paul uses in Romans 4. He was acquitted, treated, and described as righteous. Definition number two is what James uses. He was vindicated, shown, and demonstrated to be righteous.